Hi, I'm Fernanda, and I have spent my entire professional life, maybe even my entire life, telling stories. I am uh, written stories for newspapers, for magazines. I write personal essays. I write columns. I have recently written a musical that uh, is running in New York City. So um, tell me a story, and I will tell you that I have talked about it, written about it in some way. So I have always, I'm always thinking about what is the best way to explain storytelling? Because in addition to all these stories that I have written, I also teach storytelling at the Cronkite School. So I want uh, people to understand um, in a way that is memorable to them, that is simple for them to understand. So the other day, you know, I was um, at a leadership conference, actually, and somebody was talking about leadership, and, and they, they drew a train. That, actually, they had a beautiful picture of a train, and they used that train, that, that train traveling on tracks to talk about how to lead a team. And I was looking at that train and thinking, this is exactly how we should think about storytelling. And I'll show you. Now, forgive me, I'm not very good at drawing, which is why I write, but here we go. So every train travels on a track, right? And this is my attempt at a train track here. Every train starts from a destination, right? Uh, I'm sorry, starts at an origin point and goes to a destination. Nobody takes a train without knowing where the train is going, correct? And then that train, this is the little front card of the train, and there's a little chimney because I'm old school, and there's like a steam train, and there's a, I'm going to put a little lady with curly hair like me you know, driving this train. She has a big smile because I'm always smiling. So, and the train has cars, right? And it has all these different cars. And I thought that this is what a story ought to look like. When you are thinking about how to pitch a story to your team, when you're thinking about how to present a story to your audiences, you should think about your story as a train. Every train has a conductor, somebody who's carrying that story, who's guiding that story. And it has these little things here, these connectors they, that link the pieces of the story together. Every train has cars. The cars are different elements of the story. Well, there's a lot more I can tell you about how to think about your story as a train and how to use this train, as well drawn or not, it all depends on your talents, to think about your stories, to frame the stories that you're trying to tell, to frame the projects, the programs, the pitches, whatever it might be that you're trying to convey to an audience. And in this way, have all the elements that are necessary to make that story compelling, concise, and really specific about what it is that you're trying to tell the people who you're trying to convince to be on your side. I hope you join us for this training, and I really, really hope that you can help me improve my drawing um, abilities here because maybe you know a secret about drawing that I still don't know. But I'll tell you this, I can tell you secrets about storytelling.